Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Uh, today it is Monday, November 22nd at 8.51 a.m. Uh, we have the rotator all clean like you guys saw in the last video. Um, and we are gonna be taking that to go lift uh, two generators. These are gonna be like smaller generators that we're gonna be able to uh, lift pretty easily with our single hook, uh, ball bearing swivel hook. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. You guys haven't seen that hook in action, so I'm gonna show you guys that. We also do have a special treat today. We have our editor, my cousin, uh, Sophia. She's down in town for Thanksgiving, gonna be spending the holidays with us. So um, she decided to come along with us on this job. So this video is going to be strictly like vlog style and uh, handheld camera. So there's nothing gonna be on my head. It's just gonna be kind of like a behind the scenes look at what I do um, you know, in this job per se. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna have her film and follow and uh, it'll be pretty good. So um, There she is over there. She's coming up the last video Because Sophie did such a good job at editing everyone was saying how dare you you didn't even thank your editor Here's our editor Sophia. There's our face reveal. That's my cousin. She's very short uh, So she, yeah, she can barely hop up in the 50 ton rotator. So uh, I'm gonna hand her the cameras let her you know do all her magic and uh, Yeah, you guys are just gonna follow me around on this job and see what I see so thanks for tuning in tuning in guys And uh, let's get to work You don't tell my hair looks good, I'm not gonna help you with shit. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to cut that. <laughs> you're gonna have to Where is Roberto now? <laughs> Roberto is doing a till, going to Oleander. Um, Daryl is going to North Palm Springs on an RSO. Yeah. Yeah. Like towing it there? Or going yeah, no, it's getting towed there. I need a class A driver to take a tractor over to the cat. So what 
we're gonna have to set up right now is a two-part line uh, with married cables. So I'll show you what that's about. But basically, um, out of the boom head, we're gonna have a snatch block hanging at the bottom and the two cables can connect it together. It's gonna give us two parts of line uh, at a single hook point, and then we're gonna lift our ball bearing swivel hook out of the top deck. The uh, reason it's up there is because it's really heavy, so I'm gonna lift it out of there. It weighs like 60, 70 pounds. Uh, but what that allows us to do is pick this load from a single pick point and swivel it in any direction we need. So we could, we're essentially working like a crane. Uh, so because this unit that we're picking up has a single pick point, we're able to do this and it works out really well. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab the remote. Um, this is how you turn on the remote. I don't think you guys have ever showed you guys this. Make sure you're in rabbit mode and then uh, hit this. This is on and then take it out of stops. So now my controls are live. All right, so the truck has what's called an air free spool. So what I'm gonna do is free spool both the cables. So now these cables can be pulled freely, as you can see. All right, so like I said, we're gonna do a two part married cable system. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm gonna eliminate one snatch block. All right, so that's eliminated. We're just gonna set that there for later when we put the truck away. Take this cable down, like so. And then I'm gonna take this cable down as well. I go up here to the load computer uh, and I just verify a few things. Make sure that my parts align is correctly set, which it's not. Uh, so we're gonna set it to two parts aligned since that's what we're set up as now. Uh, and we'll just make sure boom extension is zero, which it is. Um, boom rotation, negative three degrees. We are slightly um, over that way since we picked up that hook. Uh, boom angle, 55, just visually compare that to the uh, manual indicator up there and that is correct and uh, load point you know it's kind of rotating between a couple hundred pounds which is correct with all the rigging and tackle that we have hanging from the hook or from the boom I should say uh, all right so now we're gonna get full outrigger set up so these are the outrigger up and down controls we have main beam uh, up and down and we have rear outriggers up and down so the main beam moves together unless you hit this red button then it moves left and right so I'm gonna go ahead and take the main beam down as you can see, our front outrigger is going to go down. Other side's going down as well. I'm not putting outrigger pads down on this job just because I know this surface um, and it's a light pick, so I'm not too worried about that. But any unknown surface um, or heavier picks, yeah, for sure, outrigger pads. What we're going for here is all tires off the ground and level. Um, so I'm gonna be lifting the front there until, so you can see rubber off the ground and the truck is not, it's 
swivel front to back but not left to right so now i'm going to do a little bit of left to right leveling so it's actually leaning to the driver's side so what i can do is hold this red button and hold the driver's side down that'll raise the driver's side and then i can do that the same with this rear hour just raise the driver up a little bit and as you can see with this bubble level i don't know if sophie will be able to see it because it's so high up here but we got bubble level there showing level and uh looks like our front's a little or our, yeah our front's a little high now so i'm just gonna drop the drop the front down a little bit so yeah we're all level there okay so now we can start swinging the boom uh, so for this what i'm gonna do is throttle it up and throw my cables in high speed just so it kind of expedites the process because we have two parts of line and we got two cables that we got to run and boom out and up and all that so just run everything a little quicker go ahead and stand back a little bit and watch uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is swing it off to the side so I can do that by taking this lever all right so that's pretty much right off the side and now I'm gonna start blowing the boom out so I take this control and just start booming out and I'm also gonna cable down with blue so it doesn't run up into the uh, sheave and two block it, which uh, contrary to a crane, this uh, truck or any rotator for that matter, doesn't does not have a two block system. So you really have to watch that very carefully, especially in this configuration. So since I know my chart here um, and I know my pick, basically my rule of thumb, I'll show you guys, but uh, anything like less than 12,000 pounds, I know that I can essentially full extension, zero degree, which is flat stick off the side, pick that. So because I know that and the weight of this unit, I basically know that anything, you know, the truck's fully capable of lifting that weight at full extension. Um, being boomed up like this so that's my kind of rule of thumb is just get the boom up and at, out as far as possible and operate it like a crane past that point i don't like to boom in and out under load while you can um it just is unnecessary wear so if you can kind of set the boom and then run it boom up and down and cable up and down from there that's kind of my rule of thumb um so in this configuration let's go ahead and take go over here um, so in this configuration um the load computer is telling us that we are good for uh, 33,000 pounds. So we have 20.6 feet of boom extended. Our radius is 18.8 feet. And we have 33,000 pounds of capacity here. Now that is limited by our rigging. Um, our, our short, our weak link in this instance would be the snatch block everything's hanging from, which is a 12 ton block. So our real capacity would be 24,000, which is a rigging capacity. But the tip chart is saying that we are good for 33,000 in this configuration. Now, if we take it up to a four part line, it goes up to 34,000. So um, yeah, you, just a little bit of different settings that you can change. Uh, but yeah, knowing that we can pick 33,000 with the boom rigging aside. Um, we can also compare that. This is what I was talking about earlier. So this chart right here is telling us that full extension. So it'd be this mark right here at zero degrees flat stick this unit can pick up 16,000 pounds. Uh, so that's what I was saying earlier, that knowing that your chart gets better as you boom up. So at full extension, zero degrees, I can pick up 16,000. So from there, being that we're boomed up, it's only gonna get better. So that's kind of my rule of thumb is anything more than 16,000 pounds, you kind of have to look into the chart a little bit closer. Um, all right, so we're set up here. I'm just waiting on my dad now to show up with a uh, tractor so that he can go grab the trailer that we're offloading. Um, but yeah, boom's all hung and uh, waiting for our load. So we'll go ahead and uh, wait. We'll get back here in a second. All right, guys. So this is the uh, comparison of the hook and tackle uh, to Sophie. How tall are you? 4'11". 4'11". So you can see <laughs> that, you know, snatch block's pretty much shoulder height to her. And the hook is probably torso high. So yeah, that's, that's a pretty big hook. Um, yeah, so that's also a downside of this setup is that it does eat into your headroom. So in this pick, it's not gonna be an, uh, a factor because our rigging below the hook is only like three feet long. But if you were to lift like a container that's up, you know, already 14 feet up in the air, then uh, it definitely eats into your headroom and you can uh, get into a two block situation pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, all right. 
back to waiting. All right, so I was just telling Sophie right now that uh, like good practice when running a truck like this, just to make sure that you're really good with like, we have a running joke within our company is like three, four fingering it, like you're, because you have to run multiple functions at the same time. Um, so when you're booming up, you're bringing the load closer to you. Well, you find yourself in a situation a lot where you have to boom up, cable down to keep the load level. So general kind of practice here is we keep the hook, you know, a couple inches above the ground. And what you're gonna see is that as I boom up, I'm going to cable down at the same time. And that's gonna see how the load is relatively close to the ground. But at the same time, I'm bringing the load closer to me. So I'm, I'm booming up, cabling down, and that's keeping the load relatively level and bringing it closer. Now, if I were to not use any cable and I just boom up, you can see that the load gets higher as I go. So the concept is when you're bringing a load closer to you or just keep it level and maintain that, that load. So good practice, just keep it right above the ground. So I just saw my dad go past uh, right over here, over this overpass. So he's getting close. So he'll be here in a few minutes. So I'm gonna get the boom up and configured, and we'll uh, get ready for him. So the only piece of rigging that we're gonna need is a rim sling. So I got my rim sling right here, just to cover our bases. This is in a basket configuration, 27,400 pounds rated. Uh, which is the configuration we'll use it in. All right, so I'm just gonna hook one end into the hook. Oh, there we go. So one end in the hook, and then once we get up there to rig this, I'll loop this through the lifting eye and then hook it in. So I'm gonna start getting the boom up and kind of in this general area, so that way when my dad backs under, we can we're kind of in a lifting position. That's good for now. Um, the nice thing about lifting with a single hook is that you can pick items from a off angle. So it really doesn't matter which way the truck is parked into here. Um, as long as we're centered over the load, we can pick it straight up. Um, as opposed to using two cables to pick it, you're kind of restricted to wherever the boom is. So the load is always gonna find center relative to the boom, perpendicular to the boom. Um, so for example, if we were to pick a load with two cables hanging from the boom in this configuration, it is at an off angle, um, not perfectly squared off to the side of the truck. So if we had a load squared off to the side of the truck and try to pick it, as soon as you pick it, it's going to rotate and uh, swing. So this isn't for every application, but in this application it works the best. So I, I don't, because Sophie's probably not going to go up there with me to rig it, but a little trick that I have is... Uh, I'll set, I'll set up this uh, the end of that rope right there, right above that lifting eye. I'll like literally with the controller put it so it's dead center right above that. And then I'll hook it up. And once I get down and I look at the load computer, I'll be able to tell the radius of that pick. And from there, I'll be able to, as I cable down, the boom bends. So if you don't account for that, then as soon as you pick it up, the load's gonna swing away from you. So you, it's constant battle between cabling up and booming up at the same time. So you basically wanna maintain the radius that you have, which is why I set that, look at the computer, and then I'll maintain that radius. And for the most part, it's gonna go straight up. 13,000 pound pick, probably not gonna have that much boom deflection is what we call it when the boom bends, um, but it's gonna be there a little bit. So we'll just have to account for it. All right, so you'll notice that both of these units are nowhere near center with the side of the truck. And that's, like I said, the nice thing about this hook is I can pick this up and that from the same spot without moving the truck or this trailer.
already connected up there. Yeah, so it's hooked up. There's a single lifting lug up there that we're using. Uh, and we're gonna start taking some cable up. All right, so over here, uh, we can see my load. So this is what I was talking about earlier. My radius is 22.2 feet, so I'm gonna maintain that. And then uh, we already got 2,000 pounds. I know this weighs about 13, so I'm just gonna kind of be glancing back and forth between the load computer and the load just to see where I'm at in terms of how much load I have. And once I know, you know, it's getting in that 10, 11,000 range, then I know that we're getting close to going airborne. Um, so go ahead and uh, Thing is on wheels so it kind of equalizes where it needs to be you can see it kind of walking away from me just a little bit so I'm gonna boom up there we go It is going to swing just a little bit because we don't have tag lines on it, but that's all right. All right my dad's got a hold of it now. All right, we are airborne there, so now we're just going to rotate it around.
something you guys like let us know as well um, just kind of playing around with different ideas seeing if you guys like just head mounts or different 
different angles, so just let us know. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you thought about the video. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.